My name is Martin Hurst. I am one of the trustees of Cowbridge Physic Garden. Cowbridge Physic Garden has been established here in our very pleasant market town since the opening by Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall in 2008. The area was originally the market garden for the Cowbridge School, which is evident behind me at the moment, but that's going back to all oh, the 1900s and beyond. But ever since the Cowbridge Physic Garden Trust was established and we were able to take over the land from the local council and create this glorious garden, it's been the work of passionate volunteers. Hi, my name is Melanie Hurst and I'm a volunteer here in the Physic Garden. I've been here about six years, I think, and I love it. The number of volunteers varies week to week, but we probably have about 20 in total, and there are some very loyal ones who come Thursday after Thursday. The good thing for me was the fact that I wasn't that knowledgeable when I started working here, but I've learned a lot because we do have some very, um, very knowledgeable gardeners, um, some horticulturalists, so we learn from them. So I've learned how to prune and keep the pleached apple trees and do all sorts of other things. All of the plants in the garden are from varieties which were able to be grown in the United Kingdom prior to 1800. The garden's beds are laid out in a very traditional style, reflecting physic gardens of past gone eras. There's lots of um, different beds in the centre of the garden that are aimed at various parts of the body. So we've got one for eyes, which I'm responsible for. So the plants that grow in that bed were used to treat eye conditions and there's lungs, um, liver um, and all the plants you see in each of those gardens were used and still are for those particular illnesses and, and I believe a lot of the plants that we grow are still used today I and mean, things like echinacea and, and uh, other things if you go to a, a, health, a health shop. The freehold of the garden is still under the control of the Vale of Glamorgan Council and we had instructions in early March that we should close the garden for public access. Obviously when lockdown happened we were very upset that we couldn't come here and garden a because it was lovely to just get out of our own houses and gardens but we we did get permission from the council that we could come and garden um, in small numbers so we split ourselves into two groups some came on a Monday some came on another day and we locked the doors and it was lovely of course we missed the public but it was lovely because we were more aware of the bird song and and, uh, and other creatures in the garden and we just carried on gardening and it helped us too because we were saying, wasn't it nice to get out? So we did that for about five weeks, I think, four or five weeks. And then the rules were, were relaxed and we've allowed the public in for the last few weeks. But I think one of my favorite things on a Thursday when we're all here is talking to the public and realizing what a haven it is for them. Um, and you often get talking to somebody who's battling with illness or sadness and they just want someone to talk to in a beautiful place. You've realised that you know everybody's suffering with anxiety and stress and and as the public are and I think it's just good to talk um, especially in in a beautiful garden like this. So um, I think we do more than just gardening I think we probably um, just by talking to people help help them too. The, the garden is a joy for those of us who work in it and visit it and there are a number of people who come week after week to enjoy what is grown and nurtured and loved by all of the volunteers and the visitors themselves. I think the importance of the Physic Garden is A it's a beautiful place to be, it's very calming for the public, um, you can learn a lot about plants um, and yeah, it's just a real haven in Cowbridge. Oasis is, is not is an excellent word to use because you will appreciate that even though we are in a busy market town, the garden is quiet and there is bird song 
and people appreciate that. They can enjoy the fragrance from many of the plants and the flowers and they can just enjoy peace and quiet. And in, in these rushed days, that's, that's worth gold.